involves strength, courage, agility, and focus. And you've got to be good at the top. One of the key maneuvers in tree topping is also one of the most dangerous. It happens at the top of the tree, and it happens like that. We're going to show it to you. It's tying in. John, take it away. After the final flip up, Bill, I've got to take up the slack with my right hand, grab hold of the left at the mark. I want to lock into the eye of the rope, then pull it down, take up the slack in the knot, set my spurs, bring up the saw, and get into the cutting. Dangerous because there's a mere 65 feet of air separating the tree topper from the ground. So the first step is creating that 65-foot cushion under you with the climb. One semifinal match is set to go, but we've got a couple of quarters yet. And one of those quarterfinals will feature a father and son competition. On the left is Steve Bartow. We've talked about Guy German. Well, Steve Bartow is 52 years old. He is the oldest competitor in tree topping here this year. Wade Stewart has made it to the medal podium four times, four consecutive times here at the Great Outdoor Games in tree topping. And he will go up against Chris Hughes, who we haven't seen for a couple of years here, but is back again to try to do some damage in this climb against Wade Stewart. And Wade is the lumberjack show performer. So he says, Timers people pay me to train. He puts it to good use here. Competitors ready. Wade Stewart's in blue. And Wade Stewart's climbs look faster this year to me, John. He's changed his equipment. He's got different shoes, a little lighter, more flexibility in his ankle. He's changed the belt, and also he's got a new handle on his saw. Little trouble with the rope, but Wade Stewart hasn't changed his ability, and he still has that. He is tied in, and he is sawing. Now comes Chris Hughes. The very strong bench press technique by Wade Stewart and the Mercier saw right there. Trying to play catch up is Chris Hughes, but he's not going to get there. Wade Stewart, clean from bottom to top and the cut, will advance to the final four. Chris Hughes running the old style saw, not the Mercier. The Mercier saw is cut better, but he stays strong to the end. So putting it all together, Wade Stewart, especially with the climb. The only trouble he got into on this race was at the top of the pole. He did the tie-in, especially when he was pulling the saw up, his climbing rope got tangled in his handle. Now remember, he's doing all this 65 feet off the ground, finally getting the saw into the cut and making a great strong cut. 65 feet up. Don't forget about the heart racing at about 200 beats per minute while you're up there. More tree topping to come, but right now we're going to send you to the freshwater doubles competition for a quick update. Freshwater doubles final round of competition is well underway. Can Denny Brower and Mike Gofron hold on to win gold? As we check on the leaderboard, they're still on top. The finals are coming up. Ron, thank you very much, and welcome back to Tree Topping, everybody. One more quarterfinal match to go, and it will feature Brian Bartow. He won silver in this event last year, and when it comes to athletics, don't worry about Brian Bartow. He's an all-around kind of guy. I just kind of decided I wanted to go up and to jump on the track team, just kind of on a whim. The training we do is uh, a lot of sprints and endurance stuff. I mean, it helps a lot for the climbing, yeah. It's definitely keeping me in shape for that. Well, we'll see what kind of conditioning level Brian Bartow has to have here to defeat none other than his 52-year-old dad, Steve Bartow, who has told us this will be his last major competition. So unless he wins this race, this might be his last major race. Steve said he's still got the desire, but his body just can't handle the training it takes to get up to this level. Brian and White, very quick to the top. And Steve struggling to keep up at this point. This is a good training run for Brian. He probably knows he's going to beat dear old dad, but he's got to do everything right. Wonder if it's possible to try to win while you're cheering for the other guy. That might be what dad Steve is doing right now. I'm sure he probably is. Brian's into the wood and halfway through, Steve is just getting started. It sounds like Brian's cheering his dad on while he's cutting up there. Brian Bartow through first, and now he cheers for his dad. That's beautiful. Uh, perhaps the only sweet loss Steve Bartow has ever in his career. 
and it will be a loss to his son, Brian. Brian, very clean on the tie-in. They have a line in which they pull the knot to, then setting the spurs, bringing the saw up, and making those powerful strokes to sever the log on top. And they meet at the bottom, father and son once again. So our semifinals are set. Greg Hart, the number one seed, will take on Brian Schultz. And Wade Stewart, the number two seed, will take on Brian Bartow. Right now, we'll check in with Merrill Hodge. Merrill? The best of the best remain in the treetopping competition. The semifinals will begin shortly. After the break, 